Hey guys, Taylor here and welcome back for another one of my reviews. Thank you so much for all your feedback and comments on my previous reviews as I always appreciate those. And in this video, I'm reviewing one of our more highly requested products for you today, the Brother DCPL 2540DW Laser Printer. It's compact, has wireless capability, and it's Amazon Dash replenishment ready. And as you know, we always like to start out our videos with do we recommend this product and who is it for? So in this case, Brother is a great brand for laser printers, and buying a monochrome printer is a great option if you don't have the need to print in color and you want to save time and money from having to buy all those pesky color cartridges for an inkjet printer. I know I for one get tired of having to replace the cyan cartridge nearly every time I need to print something in just plain black ink. So if that sounds like you, then we're definitely on the same page. Typically, you can expect these toner cartridges to last a really long time, sometimes even a year or longer if you don't print very often, because toner never dries out and it doesn't expire. Plus, laser printers print much faster than inkjet printers anyway, so who doesn't appreciate that? Now that being said, I do highly recommend Brothers DCPL 2540 as a tried and true machine, and I'm going to tell you why. When this model first came out, it was around a $150 product, and this was about 7 years ago or so at the time of this review, since it was first available in 2014 and a lot has changed since then. And at the time, they had some issues with a few kinks to work out, and now the printer works great due to some updated drivers, so the wireless connectivity issue has been ironed out for the most part. And because this printer has been around for a while, it's dependable and reliable, so this printer is likely going to last you for many years, which means you're going to save a lot of money from not having to replace your printer every couple of years. So if you like your tech simple and really just need a printer, scanner, or copier that prints in black and white, and you have no need for faxing, this easy to use brother laser printer might be for you. And I'm also going to recommend a couple of other products for you as well, just in case you have other ideas in mind, like an even more simplified design, or an all-in-one laser printer with color and photo printing, or if faxing included is more your style. So with that, we're calling this one high-tech printing from home for a fraction of the price. So feel free to stick around for all those details and the rest of our review, if you like, so you can find out more and decide if any of these printers are right for you. And as always, I'll add any helpful links in the description below so you can check the latest price on this or any other printers referenced in this video as well. So let's get down to it. And to start with, let's focus on the primary positive here. I mean, gone are the days of having to spend over 10 grand for a laser printer. That's not to say they aren't out there because they still are, but right off the bat, you're getting an excellent deal just spending a couple to a few hundred dollars on a laser printer. And this printer also doesn't take up much space like the huge office printers we're used to seeing. You know the ones, right? So this printer measures 15.7 inches long by 16.1 inches wide by 12.5 inches tall and it weighs about 24 pounds. And compared to inkjet printers, it's a little big, but not compared to typical laser printers. So we found it to be pretty on point and easy to maneuver, which comes in handy. And I'll talk more about why that is here in a moment. It also comes with a DR630 replacement drum that is rated for 12,000 pages. That's a lot of pages. And if you don't print very often, it could last you for many years and that alone is valued at around 80 bucks, so that was a pretty cool freebie. And inkjet printers usually cost at least $100, with the ink cartridges costing around $30 a piece times 4 for 4 cartridges. Plus, I was replacing mine around 4 times a year, and if you don't, they dry out, so you would have to replace them anyway. Now, if you try to use generic ink, a lot of times your inkjet printer won't recognize the cartridges, so you're looking at a yearly investment of around $120 for ink each year for a typical inkjet printer if you replace them once a year. But with this laser printer, you can buy generic toner cartridges for around 30 bucks, because Brother is known for being compatible with other brands when you replace the toner cartridges and drums, which will save you even more money. And by the way, if all this sounds like I'm speaking in a foreign language, let me break it down for you for just a moment. So the drums are technically charged cylinders, and they work with toner cartridges that contain the toner powder to fuse the toner powder onto the paper. Most laser printers, like HP, have the drum unit incorporated into the toner, so you never have to worry about replacing the drum. Brother products are different, however, and although not very often, about every three to four toner changes, you'll also have to change the drum. But the printer will usually tell you when the drum needs change though, so that makes it pretty easy, especially if you only need to change your toner cartridge about once a year. And if it doesn't tell you, you'll know if you start seeing black spots or lines on the pages when it prints that it's time to replace the drum. And it also comes with a starter toner cartridge that will last for over 700 pages of printing. Now if you don't mind your documents being a little light or faded, you can extend this by applying the low toner mode in the settings, so your toner will last much longer. So that's just something to keep in mind if it interests you. Not only that, but it does have duplex printing, which means you can print double-sided automatically, which will save on paper as well. 
So let's break down a few features of this printer. It has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Ethernet capability, which is a huge plus. If your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth capability fail, you can still hardwire it. It does print about 30 pages per minute, which we found to be accurate. Also, it holds up to 250 sheets in the tray, which is adjustable from letter to legal size paper. Plus, it has a manual feed slot as well. It also has a one-year limited warranty and free phone support, and if you have Alexa or purchase Alexa with it, it will automatically order new toner cartridges when your toner gets low, so you'll never have to worry about running out of toner. And again, if you're not printing often, it could be a while before you have to worry about this, so you don't even need to have Alexa to use this printer, but it's definitely an option for you if that interests you. The setup was pretty easy, and each time we tested it out, the drivers were automatically installed to our devices once we were connected. You can also connect your PC, phone, and laptop to it. We use both Windows and Mac with it without any trouble and never had any connectivity issues. Also it comes with a basic instruction manual, but here's a more in-depth manual on Brother's website available to download as a PDF if you need it. And there's an auto sleep feature that engages on the unit when you're not using it, and it automatically wakes up when you need to print. Now I didn't have any issues with it not waking up, but this is one of the issues of the past that the updated drivers managed to iron out. You can also unplug the printer or turn it off to save power if you want to as well, and it should remember your connections when you turn it back on. Now keep in mind this printer does not have built-in faxing capabilities. You can definitely scan with it, and it scans in color. In our test, the scan quality was really good. And you can either scan it through the top, and it will automatically feed the pages through, or you can scan it by opening the scanner for a higher quality scan as well. But we found the auto scan was pretty good quality. If an all-in-one faxing printer is something that interests you, Brother has several to choose from, and I'm going to put a couple of my recommendations in the description below. Now, if you want a basic monochrome printer, scanner, and fax machine, the 2710 will serve your needs just fine. The only thing missing on this model is auto duplex, a touchscreen, and a few other neat features which you can find on the 2750, which is a little faster and has some additional features as well if you want to check that out. Okay, so back to the 2540. So you can also print labels with it, like on an envelope for example. However, remember earlier when I mentioned it's great that it's pretty easy to maneuver? This is where that comes in handy. So to print an envelope or labels, you have to turn the printer around or go to the back. Then you have to open up the back and press down on two levers, one on the right side and one on the left. After that, you have to open the front and manually adjust the guide to fit the envelopes or a label sheet. Then you manually feed them one at a time in the printer. So it can be difficult if you have your printer located in a tight space or it's difficult to reach and might be a lot easier if you have it connected wirelessly instead of hardwired. But it's definitely worth mentioning here so you're aware if you intend to use it for label making or envelopes. So just to keep that in mind. Now when we turned it on and used it, we didn't find it to be very loud at all, and it only took about 20 to 30 seconds to warm up on average during our tests. So this laser printer is pretty basic, easy to use, and will serve anyone with pretty basic needs. Now if you have even more basic needs, Brother also has a more light duty model available, the 2300. So if your needs are pretty light duty, and that's something that might work better for you, I'll have a link available below in the description. Now, on the other hand, if you want beautiful, high-gloss, professional-quality color photos, there's a few laser printers that can meet your needs for that as well. My favorite pick, though, is the 8360, because this printer can do everything except wash the dishes. But again, there's plenty of options for you to choose from if you'd like to take a look at their different products. However, brilliant, high-gloss photos don't have to be a thing of the past just because you give up your inkjet printer. So I'll have a link in the description for you as well if you'd like to see if it might be an option for you. So with that, to sum up our review of the Brother DCPL 2540DW Compact Laser Printer, overall, we were very happy with it. And if you have no need for color printing, it'll serve your needs just fine and likely for years to come. The setup was easy, it stayed connected, and it has an Ethernet connection available just in case there isn't a network available. Plus, it has modern abilities like connecting to Alexa and ordering toner when it's low. And the print quality is fast and good quality, so overall, if you can find this tried and true workhorse for a good price, I definitely recommend it as a good buy. So that's it for this review, we appreciate all the feedback and comments, and if you have any questions or any other products you'd like to see us review, let us know in the comments because we always love responding to those and we're always happy to help. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.